man, let's get it. What's up, beautiful people? Everybody out there, man, I'm gonna, you know, give it a couple minutes, let some people tune in. I got about a good mm, seven to 10 minutes of uh, something that I can just give you real quick, man, that was given to me. So you already know that when you get something, you gotta share it, cause it ain't just necessarily for you. What's, what's up? What up, big bro? My guy. Daniel Man in the building, everybody. Make sure you uh, check out my man, Daniel Man. He's on uh, Instagram. Leave your stuff, bro. Drop where they can check your YouTube out. You know, I'm all about the plug, plug. I got connects from above, yeah. I'm making prayers to the plug, yeah. So I'm always trying to plug somebody. So it's too tough. Plug, plug. Um, Yeah, how y'all doing, man? Just, uh, I'm, you know, I'm out here hugging these highways. And I'll be having a lot of time to just, like, reflect and that's how I know, like, God, you know what I'm saying, set this up for me to get this CDL, to be driving, you know, to be on the, um, just to be on the road, you know, to, to have those moments to, like, really, really reflect and think. Um, also to to learn and to, like, have that time to get, like, a lot of information and, and knowledge and understanding, man. So um, I'll be having a lot of time to, to uh to just realize some stuff, you know, about myself, about, you know, where I'm going, where I'm at, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, the way I'm moving. So, um, I'm going to just get to it. As I was, um, I called my moms today because, like, I just be, like, needing to just hear her voice, you know what I'm saying? Because I love my mom. Like, she, she, she been, like, my day one, literally. So... You know, every now and then I'll, well, not every now and then, but I'll call her just on a random and just tell her, like, you know, just tell her I love her. Tell her she's beautiful. You know, I appreciate her. She's blessed. You know, tell her to have a blessed day because, I mean, she, my mom went hard for me and a lot of stuff, you know, equally my dad as well, but um, especially my mom. So, but, man, we was chopping it up. And uh, my mom, she was just, like, feeding me, man. She was giving me some good, some good word. We was chopping it. And she was uh, telling me about, you know, in, in prayer, how she didn't, you know, she didn't kind of got the sauce on some on some things with prayer. And she was saying that, you know, it comes a point in, the t in time, like when you're praying, you got to quit, you know, kind of for real asking. You got to quit, like, making petitions and keep requesting, like, God, you know, please this and God, please that. And, and Lord, I just thank you for healing. I thank you for you know, uh, blessing the business. I thank you for this. And Lord, I'm just asking that you would do it. And it's like, after a point in time, like we got to remember that like he God. So he, he kind of for real be looking like, while you down there, you know, we praying and we, we, we petitioning it. And you know, the Lord kind of looking like, like, why are you asking? You know what I'm saying? Like, like why, why, why are you asking for, for first of all, for what I already know that you, you know, have in your heart but also already know what you have need of like what are you asking me something that i already know and then like aren't you tired of re reiterating and re-asking so my mom was like you know she she now says that like she's done with that like she uh was telling me that she gets in her you know of course the secret place it's referred to as that intimate time where it's just you and god but like nothing else and there's no ulterior motive there's no specifics it's just like god i'm here just for you to hear what you got to say so what she was saying is that you got to put heaven in the corner and i was like oh that's tough she's like yeah you got to put heaven in the corner you know and it's not saying that you know like we literally can like you know force our hand on god but she's saying you gotta my mom's like you gotta put heaven in the corner and it made sense because i'm i know in like in john it talks about how he said that the kingdom of heaven is at hand and the violent take it by force. Meaning that like they see that there's something with this connection with answer prayer. And and how, you know, when we make a request known to, the, to God and, and when we act on it in faith, then like my bro Daniel said, then God is obligated to act on your behalf on that faith. So I was like, my, that makes sense. If I, you know, if, if God is obligated to act on my faith, if it says that, um, without it, it's impossible to please him. And if we know that, you know, faith is the evidence of things hoped for. Well, faith is the substance of things uh, hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. So it's like if I'm if if I'm activating that faith 
and if his word he regards it higher than his own name and he's then obligated to move on that faith on my behalf so it's like ain't no more asking or petitioning or or making requests known it's like he already knows so then you put heaven in that corner you know you kind of like take heaven by the neck like you know what i'm saying you going you going to feel me because of my faith and because where i'm at so when she shared that with me i was like man that makes so much sense because then you just get to this point to where he's like abba like he's literally daddy to where it's like you know i ain't gotta ask daddy for nothing like he already know and then it's already he know the desires of my heart and he know that it's in his good pleasure uh to will and work those desires for him to get the glory so i just want to share that to encourage y'all like actually just take a moment and take time with God and be like, Lord, I don't really want to say nothing. I just want to just hear you, even if I don't feel like I'm hearing you. Like I just want to rec I want to be able to recognize your voice, that still small voice when you're talking, and then you'll see it because the thing with how I understand with like sowing and reaping and and planting and things like that, the the underground seed is what produces the above ground fruit. So when you in your secret place. And when you and when you not asking God for nothing, but you recognizing that, Lord, I'm just here to hear what you got to say. I'm just going to get in your presence and then take heaven and put it in a corner and then see when God see that, then he moved on it. And then he like, oh, I got to obligate. I'm obligated to act on that faith. For example, the woman that had the issue of blood. All right. Now, here's the scene. So Jesus and the disciples, they they in the mix. You know, what I'm saying they getting busy. All these people is around and they just mesmerized by the Lord and you know and he walking and then you got this woman who has this issue of blood you know what I'm saying she's been having this infirmity for 12 years and she's been cashing out on all these doctors to heal her ain't not one of them been able to heal her I, I want you to catch where I'm going how she put heaven in the corner like she took heaven by the neck and it was like this faith is gonna make something happen so she she sees Jesus right she done heard about him so already right there she already done recognized that like he's a person of importance somebody that i need to connect with and she recognized it right there that like don't nothing else matter right now so now she's not even bro y'all not y'all not even seeing where i'm going listen she need, she didn't even she didn't even make up in her mind to be like what will i ask him what if i get to have a conversation with him like what petition or what request she like you know what my faith in the way I'm feeling right now, I've been bleeding for 12 years. I'm tired of it. She like, I ain't even got time to think about no questions. She like, all I need to do is get close enough to touch the hem of his garden. I mean, his garment. All I got to do is get close enough to put heaven in a corner. All I got to do is get close enough for him to recognize my faith and then he be obligated to move on it. So notice that when she's maneuvering through the crowd, she like, all I got to do is touch the hem of his garment and I'm going to be made well. I'm going to be healed. So therefore, she's already saying bypassing the asking and the request part because she didn't already been through 12 doctors. What's up, D. White? What's up, uh, Sally? How y'all doing? She like, I, I don't need to ask him nothing. When she, touched his, when she touched him of his garment, the Lord was like, pause, wait a minute. In all his excellence, he like, whoa, wait, guys. Somebody touched me. Who touched me? And they like, yo. It's like all these people pressing up on you and bumping and touching. Like, what do you mean who touched you? Like, <laughs> it's a thousands of people here. He's like, nah, I'm not. See, I don't mean that type of touch. He like somebody connected with heaven. And the father was like, hey, I became obligated to move on whose faith that touched me. And that woman, when she touched him of his garment, she was made well instantly. No conversation, no asking. No talking about it. No like, hey, uh, I heard that you be doing these, you know, these healings and these wonderful things. Like, can I have parts? She took heaven by a corner, man. And God was obligated to move on her faith. So now I challenge you to take heaven and put it in the corner and have God be obligated to move on your faith in your life. And what you got going in your business, in your family, in your marriage, in your careers, in your walk with him. Put heaven in a corner and activate like the lord is saying like when you participate then i'll activate and and that confirmed putting heaven in the corner like when you participate in the things regarding to me then i activate and when in your participation don't mean that you asking and re-asking and constantly asking in prayer it's like not nah, participate with your faith so then when you when you when it's like this the like the song i got faith without works is so dead god you give me 
God, I bring you the faith and you give me the work. We bring God that faith and he going to give us that work. He going to give you the work. So no longer continue to go about life like, man, I hope God hear me. I hope that my God know, but you got to put in some work and you got to activate it with your faith. And then you put heaven in the corner because like I said in the scripture, it says the kingdom of heaven have suffered violence and the kingdom of heaven have suffered by, uh, is, is, has suffered attacking the, in the violent, take it by force. Meaning that it's like, shoot, I see, I see what, I see what heaven can do. I see what God can do. Like what I got to do to have parts of that. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Be encouraged, man. Like put heaven in a corner. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't continuously keep asking. And, and having this repetition of prayer where you just like wondering like man god see you god care god love you god no you understand what i'm saying like what's up secreta what's up uh um bless y'all man appreciate y'all coming through like i just was uh just sharing with the people about putting heaven in the corner my mom dropped this on me today you know what i'm saying about don't be when you get in your secret place like quit quit asking god for what he already know like the Lord said, like, take no thought for tomorrow. Don't be anxious for nothing. So that means, like, man, don't be asking me for stuff that I already know about. Don't be asking me about things for tomorrow. Like, live in me in the moment. Let me take care of you in the moment. Have that faith. Let me be obligated to, to move on your faith because I hold my word higher than my name. And then when you participate, then I activate. So put heaven in the corner. Don't be petitioning. Don't be like, Lord, bless my business. Lord, help help me in school. Lord, man, my kids, like, he's like omniscient, like, omnipresent. He, like, he know this stuff, but he like, I want to see, I want to see you like that woman that had that issue of blood, who didn't ask me, who didn't schedule a meeting, who didn't make petitions and requests. Dang, it's like, I'm like, all oh, this, why does this spit just keep, I think I'm thirsty. But anyways, like she didn't do none of that. She said, all he do is touch the hem of his garment and heaven is going to be put in a corner. I'm going to put heaven in a chokehold. You know what I'm saying? And God is going to act on my behalf because I seen what he can do. I heard what he can do. So it's no question. It ain't like I ain't going to just pull up on Jesus like, hey, can you heal me? And I didn't seen him and heard him heal countless people. Now I pull up and it's like, I just need to touch you. That's it. What I'm thinking, you already can do. Like, my thoughts are already in manifestation in you. So when I touch you, I'm going to be healed. When I, when, when, when I, when I, when I think it in my heart, it's going to be manifest. Because like I said, we don't, a lot of people bury seeds. You know, even in their prayer requests, even in their petitions, like they, 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 they bury the seed. And they don't tend to it. They don't act it. They don't participate in this growth. So they just bury it and just be like, yeah, it automatically spring up. And like, no, nah, that ain't how it works. When you plant a seed, you tend to it. You watch over it. You you waiting like, man, I'm waiting to see what that's going to, you know. So like if you got that business idea or if you got that 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 thought that came to you to impact the youth or whatever God didn't give you, like, I'm going I'm to plant that seed. And then I'm going I'm to bring it to the Lord in this secret place and be like, I'm watching. Because he already know what I planted. I didn't bury it. So I'm not wasting it. I didn't bury it like I planted it. And I know that what's below ground is going to produce what's above ground. So I'm not looking for what's going on above. Like, I don't care about the drought. I don't care about the season of loneliness. I don't care about not seeing it work. I don't care about discouragement. I don't care about what this person said. Like, nah, I know that that seed is planted. So therefore, like, when I tend to it, when I keep active, participating in it, God, like, bet, I'm going to activate it. You just keep participating. You keep bringing me that faith and I'll be obligated to work on your behalf. So put heaven in the corner, man. Quit playing with this stuff. Like, man, God real. Don't let nobody discourage you getting your ear to that's crap. That's mess. That ain't real. Like, who cares? Like, I don't need to defend. I don't need to persuade you. Like, you live your life. You do what you do. But I know as far as for me, like, I'm going to serve God and I'm going to keep getting results. And you're going to keep being mesmerized by what God doing. And that's how I live my life, being a reflection of Christ. Like, let y'all, you watch what God do, not what I do. Because I'm not watching what you do or what God you serve or who you talking about. I ain't got time to hear about what I need to be trying to do, what I shouldn't be doing. Like, now I know what God has called me to do. And you ain't called me to do nothing. You ain't even calling my phone for one. So how you going to tell me what I should and shouldn't be doing and what I should believe in? Nah, we not going to play them games. You bring that faith to God, he going to give you that word. 
You put heaven in the corner, God gonna be obligated to move on your behalf. You wanna see a change in your family, you wanna see a change in your marriage, you wanna see a change in your business, you wanna see a change in your career, you plant that seed and you let God know that, hey, my faith is working and you are obligated to act on it. Put heaven in the corner, holla at you, boy.